one of the most common questions we come across in our day-to-day -day dental practice is, is there a problem with the tooth extraction? Is there any permanent damage that can happen when the tooth is removed? Olden days, we used to answer this question, no, if the dentist has respected the underlying anatomy, if the extraction is carried out in a traumatic manner, it's not going to create any problems. But recent researches has proven that statement is only partially correct because when the tooth is removed, the tooth holding structure, the alveolar bone, it will start melting away. In the first year itself, 25% of the alveolar bone is lost. It will be continuing in preceding years. Once alveolar bone is lost, it will start affecting the underlying basal bone. We know this each and every finger is having its unique shape and size because of the bone inside. As the saying goes, the bone sets the tone. When you look at the face, if the bone started losing on the face, there are some aesthetic issues. If you look at the soft tissue aspect, the soft tissue will start falling and there will be start created some wrinkles on the face, the old age appearance. If you consider the heart tissue, there are some spaces, unesthetic spaces get created in between the teeth and there are some teeth malalignment issues. If you look at the functional aspect, there are some other functional problems also associated with this tooth extraction and bone loss. Now the million dollar question is, is there any way to prevent this? The good news is yes, there is a way and the sad news is there is only one way. Unfortunately, that is not very commonly available everywhere because it's a specialized treatment. That is dental implants. By explaining the scientific aspect, how dental implants will maintain the bone and prevent the bone loss, I am concluding this. When the tooth is in place, every biting and chewing forces will be giving some stimulation to the underlying bone that will help to maintain the integrity and quality of bone all around this tooth. The form and function theory. Once the function is gone, so tooth is removed, then that area bone quality will be compromised. It will start resorbing. When the dental implant is inserted at the microscopic level, the bone will start holding the dental implant, growing all around the dental implant. And it will start, the biting and chewing forces will start again passing that stimuli for this bone remodeling. And if you look at the cellular level, the osteoclastic and osteoblastic activities will be again stimulated that will maintain the integrity and quality of the bone around the implant. That's how dental implant prevent the bone loss and preserve the bone all around. When the bone is preserved, the soft tissue will be there in the right place in the right way. So these dental implants can be done at the time of the extraction itself or it can be done in a later state. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.